On Wednesday, September 18th, the Mountain Art Center will be presenting a new documentary from Apple Shop. Appalachian Lenses looks back at the 2022 floods and the community that weathered them from the perspective of those outside the region. Mountain Art Center Executive Director Joe Campbell tells us more. It's, it's Appalachian Lenses. It's, it's so interesting um, to, to learn about and be able to feature it here. Uh, Apple Shop contacted me a couple weeks ago and, and they were going to start screening this film and uh, we, we jumped on it. We really want to be a partner with it and show it here as uh, for one of the screenings um, of the, the time that they are here. The, the Japanese filmmakers um, were in town in 2022 uh, doing a documentary type piece on Apple Shop, Appalachian Media Institute, Whitesburg in general, when the, the catastrophic, catastrophic floods hit of 2022. So they were already in town and so they were doing this work and it hit and they turned their attention to uh, the flooding, of course, the, the community, the devastation of the community, the dev de devastation of Apple Shop. And so it's almost like a two pronged documentary from what I understand is that uh, they'll be able to tell two types of stories from, from what I understand. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. The screening will also include conversations with the filmmakers for those who want to hear more about their creative process. The event is free to everyone, but donations are welcome. I believe that they pretty quickly noticed that this was not a, a usual event and they were it seems to be they were already in the community um, documenting how Whitesburg and Apple Shop are, work together and, and just the, the community tight-knit that it is so I really think that the, once they saw that and saw that this was not a, a regular uh, occurrence in, in, the, in the flooding um, I think that really turned their attention and really um, you know, was able to um, spotlight that. I think that they, like any filmmaker, they're going to try to catch what's around them and, and, and tell a story. Tell, they'll tell the right story, the correct story. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.